Have you ever wondered what weapons were used in the 12th century wars? Ah, the 12th century, a time when warfare was not just a matter of brute force but a dance of strategy, power and innovation. The period saw a significant evolution in weaponry, driven by advancements in technology and tactics, each with its unique strengths and purposes. From the common sword to the complex trebuchet, the armory was as diverse as it was deadly. So, let's delve into the world of 12th century weaponry and discover what made them so effective. The sword, a symbol of power and nobility, was one of the most common weapons of the 12th century. With variations such as the broadsword, greatsword, and arming sword, each had unique characteristics and uses in combat. The broadsword with its wide blade was perfect for slashing, while the longer greatsword excelled in reach and power. The arming sword, meanwhile, was the everyday weapon of the knight, a balance of both slashing and thrusting capabilities. The sword was a versatile weapon, capable of both slashing and thrusting, making it a formidable tool on the battlefield. When it came to breaking down castle walls, nothing could match the power of the trebuchet and the catapult. These siege engines were the heavy artillery of the 12th century, capable of launching projectiles over great distances to destroy fortifications and wreak havoc on enemy ranks. The trebuchet, a gravity-powered machine, utilized a long arm and counterweight system to hurl stones or other projectiles with tremendous force. On the other hand, the catapult, often powered by tension or torsion, could launch projectiles in a high arc, raining destruction from above. These machines were not just instruments of war, but also feats of engineering. They required a deep understanding of physics, craftsmanship and teamwork to operate effectively. Their design and construction were carefully guarded secrets, often the difference between victory and defeat. These formidable weapons were game-changers in warfare. The introduction of these siege engines revolutionized warfare, making even the strongest fortifications vulnerable. Protection in battle was as important as offense, and the 12th century saw advancements in armor and shields. Chainmail and plate armor were common, each offering varying levels of protection. Chainmail, composed of interlocking metal rings, was flexible but vulnerable to blunt force. Plate armor, on the other hand, provided solid defense against both sharp and blunt attacks. Meanwhile, kite and round shields were used to deflect enemy blows. So, while the weapons of the 12th century were designed to cause damage, the armor and shields were there to prevent it. From swords to siege engines, the 12th century was a time of innovation in warfare. This era marked a turning point, bringing forth an array of weapons that would shape the course of battles for centuries. The sword in its many forms, from the broadsword to the great sword and arming sword, was a symbol of rank and prowess. The mace, spear and battle axe, each with their unique advantages, served as the backbone of the infantry. The trebuchet and catapult, those formidable siege engines brought down fortifications heralding a new age of strategic warfare. The longbow and crossbow added a new dimension allowing soldiers to strike from a distance with deadly accuracy. The shield and armor, be it chainmail or plate, were the silent protectors, the difference between life and death on the battlefield. Each weapon, from the humble sling to the mighty warhammer, played its part. These weapons, brutal and efficient, defined the 12th century battlefield, leaving a lasting impact on warfare for centuries to come.